hey guys how you all doing so in this video i am going to show you how you can sort a json object on a certain value okay for example if you want to sort this json on an id basis you can do that on name basis or on active basis so i'm going to show you all of this okay so first let me show you how exactly it looks like so right now it looks like this okay so first i'm going to sort it on on an id basis and it will be like ascending order so for that so for sorting we are going to use the inbuilt sort method so it will be data dot sort and here we are going to apply the function that is the compare function and here we, we are going to use we are going to check if a dot id is smaller than b dot id what we are going to do is we are going to return minus one i'm going to explain you why we are using minus one but let me first show you exactly so as you can see that it's 0 2 3 11 and it works so let me first explain you why i have returned minus one okay so for that you have to first understand this uh in in array dot sort method they have given a compare function this is the compare function okay so in compare function they have said, mentioned that if you want to sort a first and then before b you have to return any value that is below zero so you can understand it like this if you want to put a first and then b b later you have to return minus one or any value which is less than zero and if you want to like if you want to put b first and then a then you have to return one or uh, any value which is greater than zero as like here and if you want to just keep the or keep the same same value and don't want to change then you can just return zero okay so this was it and now you see that it is working on id basis now let's do it on, on a name basis so if is name and if we do this so we should get this on a so so it is filtering it like uh, on a character basis so first a and then b then f and then r okay so it is working like this you can also work with the boolean as well so for boolean you have to do what you have to do is that if a dot okay so here we have to use this if a dot active is equal to true and b dot active is equal to false what you are going to do is you are going to put the true put all the all those true values first but since it's already already uh okay let me first show you so so here now as you can see that all the true values have appeared first and the false value is in in, in the below and you can do the opposite by if you do this uh, okay okay yeah you have to make another check if b dot active is equal to true and a dot active is equal to false return minus one so as you can see now that the false value has appeared on the top and all the all the true values are on the bottom so you basically have to play with play with this and you have to understand how exactly you are going to filter filter the value and compare the values of a, a and b so this was it this was a quick video of explaining you how to you can sort a json object how you can sort a json object on terms of a certain certain field okay so this was it thank you for watching if you like the video press on the like button and click on subscribe